And today we are going to be doing a new Where do I even start? Oh, to be in your shoes again. To laugh, love, live like you did. Not that I still don't, of course. It's just a lot has changed. For starters, we grew really tall. Like, really tall. Um, we like a lot more anime than just Blue Exorcist and Naruto. Like, a lot. <laughs> oh, I know what. We made some great friends along the way, that's for sure. You might get a girl or two. Not saying. <laughs> uh, we do lose some friends. Don't worry, it's not like they're dead or anything. It's just... Lose touch. That happens. And we still love them all the same. Uh, you even meet new friends. Because mom pressured us into going to that stupid art school. But, trust me, you won't regret it one bit. We form new bonds that really show us what it truly feels like to be loved and part of a group. It was the first time in our life that we established a stable, genuine friendship. So believe me when I say this, but going there was the best decision you ever make. The stupid art school turned out to be the prime of your tween years. Uh, now as much fun as you're going to have... Just know that nothing lasts forever, uh, but at least it was for the best. You said your goodbyes, some sweet, some sour, and just like that, you went through your middle school days, on to the next chapter of your life. This is where it gets rough. Now, um, I want you to open your ears and listen up, because... This next chapter in your life is nothing short of a symbolic mess. You're gonna have a lot of these new emotions clawing away at the inside of your brain like nails on a chalkboard and it's gonna get dark, like really dark. Many people will judge you, even your own family. You have this constant feeling of loneliness, almost as if higher beings made you to not be understood by others. Slowly, your friends from those happy times in your life become more distant to the point where they just become strangers and acquaintances. Some nights you feel the kind of sickness that only crying and letting it all out can cure. But you can't. You sit there stuck on this yin and yang of wanting to break down mentally yet not being sick enough to do it and during the day you hide it all with jokes and smiles so no one notices you fight with your mom a lot she forces you to be better when you just want to be average it makes you happy being average it's simple it, it reminds you of the happy days. But she insists and insists and insists until you snap. You do the unimaginable and there's no turning back. You've officially become a stranger in your own household and just like that, you're all alone. You decided that the safest place for you is your room, so you trap yourself in there and you treat yourself like shit. You don't eat breakfast some days, you only leave your room to shower, otherwise you stay in bed and sleep away the terrible headaches. And as if it couldn't get any worse, COVID hits. 
the coronavirus outbreak. Dr. Fauci. A dangerous virus is spreading rapidly. People here are understandably very nervous. If the virus turns out to be readily transmissible. From How serious is this? What's keeping you up at night? You're just starting to get closer with a friend in these happy days. Someone was like the only person you felt nostalgia around. Your literal last hope at happiness. That was Courtney. You even fell for them, but right away doubt creeped on in to convince you that it was one-sided. You don't want to say anything because you like how things are and you're afraid to ruin a valuable relationship. So you stay quiet. Once again, things don't always last. If I had said something, it could have changed. Maybe I could have saved us. If I had said something, could it have gone wrong? She might never talk to me. Is it too late? This, this was our rock bottom. But I wouldn't be making this if that's how it ended. Like the forest after a wildfire, life slowly begins to replace its charred surroundings. It got better. Although you and mom still fight, it's not as bad as it used to be. Uh, you'll slowly learn to become the bigger person. Shave your head for some odd reason that I still wonder about to this day. Work out three or more times a week. Meet some online friends and you have a blast every night. You begin to realize the mistakes you made during the dark time in your life and that you may have over-dramatized some of the details. I would say that you move on from her, but there's just something about them that leaves you in awe. So for now, we just watch them, hoping to guide them in the right track. School starts back up again, but of course, can't forget about COVID. Online schoolwork becomes a little more to take on, but don't worry. You're at peace with being an average student because it makes you happy and you don't ever want that taken from you again. A weekend, you get to revisit a place from your happy days. You reconnect with old friends, even make more new ones. This leads us to now. Hey, welcome to the present where everything is constantly changing. We're so glad to have you on this journey. Please enjoy your stay says the universe. But in all seriousness, a lot of what is going to happen to you is what shaped me. So thank you. Honestly, thank you and thanks everyone in my life for the memories. Thank you for being in my life. Uh, I hope you all know that I appreciate you. Here's to 16 years of abstract catastrophe. Hopefully future Lucas will fill me in on the next six years. Uh, all I gotta say is that both you and me got a lot to look forward to. Sincerely, you from the future.